So, after a long wait, Kangua teaser is out. When I had reacted to the glimpse of Kangua, one of our lovely subscribers had asked me uh, to decode once the teaser came out. So now, um, here I am trying to give you the decode of this one hell of a movie um, teaser that takes place in ancient times. The Sizzler teaser, as they call it, for Kangua offers a tantalizing glimpse into a mysterious and uncharted world. In just 50 seconds, viewers are treated to an action packed scene um, from the film, uh, including a prominent role for the animal actor Bobby Diol. Without further ado, let's get into the decode. So, when the teaser starts, this is what we see Brace yourself for Kangua world. So, what do you reckon? Like, it clearly points out that this is a world in itself created by by Adi Narayana for this story. So now we are welcomed in the trailer by two main frames in the beginning. One is the frame with a dark ominous army who seems quite bad in nature. And then the second frame is a tree of skeletons with some kind of bloodbath ritual going on. One can see another army of men around this tree with skeletons and skulls in their hands. So then comes Surya, looks like, facing the tiger which I believe is gonna leave the theater in uproars. And here comes the king with with his army of masked men and yet another frame in which there's a group of men led by supposedly Surya who is walking over a mountain. This is depicted I believe because of the eagle that flies by. A lot of blue painted men are kind of piling up dead bodies of some of the masked men if you look at the right hand side of the frame. So now if you would remember Surya had a similar skeleton mask in the glimpse of the movie. So then there is the sea people as well. And finally after all that is, is the introduction of Surya's frame with him against the fire. Kangua, as per the director, means someone who can wield fire. Well, from here on, the teaser is definitely on fire. Surya is the leader of a tribal group, let's say, who comes in with a mask. It gets confirmed that the sea people are headed by Bobby Diol. Now, the villain, Bobby Diol, it looks like, uh, is completely against uh, Surya and he has some kind of an issue. And we have a tribe led by Surya who is the wielder of fire. We have Bobby Diol who plays the character Udhir. Uh, leading another tribe and they have quite some ships and then there is a king. Uh, so where does this lead us? It looks like Surya loves killing people in the blue. You remember the pile of so not alive people? I believe that he's taking a revenge for that. Now he goes on to say the only word in the teaser, Perumachi. Now what does that mean? Perumachi, a term speculated to be inspired by the revered deity Perumal worshipped in the southern India. Additionally, the movie also boasts a dual role from the the singham actor Surya and uh, there is a final frame which kind of tells us that this is a saga about two tribal leaders who are completely against each other and that's Bobby Diol and that's uh, Surya. Now, what's the whole story that connects Udhiran, Kangua and the New Age Surya? Because there's a double role, you remember? And what's the role of Disha Patni in among all these? Well, according to IMDB, the storyline goes something like this. Uh, a warrior in 1678 dies due to a disease and in the present, there's a girl who does the research of the disease which killed the warrior in 1678. Quite interesting. Now, will Shiva, the director of Vishwasam Vivekam Vedalam and Anate, break the box office for good? It looks like. Because the VFX shots, Surya and his acting prowess, Bobby, uh, Diol, there's hopes. Let's wait and see. Now, until then, please do stay tuned to Oprah Frames and do not forget to like, share and subscribe. And by the way, we take your comments quite seriously. So do tell me what content would you like me to do from my end and I will try and deliver. Until then, and until I see you in another episode, this is Gautam signing off. Bye-bye.